Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. This is Tango here, and we're gonna be doing our first tutorial on our FP animation starter pack. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. So let's get started. To begin, you need some 3D models that you can replace the ones in the game with. This could be any model, but I would suggest going off um, what the weapons are in the game and the similar ones. As an example, one of the pistols in the project is actually based off a pistol like this. And one of the rifles is based off a rifle like this. I've gone ahead and get on non sketchfab and found two models that fit our models in the project. And this is how you could replace them with your own models. The workflow would be about the same, but just to credit, here's our author for this model. And here's the author for this model. I'll be using their work to get them replaced in the project. So to get started, I've gone ahead and downloaded these two files. To get started, I'm going to be using Blender. You can use any 3D software that you would like. You could follow the steps as I do, but it might be a little different program to program. So if you're not familiar with this, you could get somebody to do it, or you could try to use Blender. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually export the skeletal meshes from the engine. You can find the skeletal meshes under content, the packs files, meshes, weapons, and the corresponding weapon that you want to replace. In our case, we're going to replace the pistol and the rifle. So here, we're going to go ahead and right click on the skeletal mesh asset, not the skeleton. The skeletal mesh asset is the one that's usually purple. We're right click asset actions and export. And this gets saved on our desktop or wherever you'd like to save it. I'm going to save it here for convenience. Go ahead. You don't have to change any settings. All right. Now that we're back on our desktop, let's begin by getting our files. So since we've already exported our pistol mesh, and our Beretta model, what we're going to have to do here is get this ready to be in Blender. So open this with whatever app you prefer. We're just going to get our FBX file out. Now we can get started in Blender. I'm using 4.1. If you're using any older versions, it might look a little different, but the steps should be relatively the same. I'm going to start by deleting our default cube, unfortunately, as, <laughs> as things go with Blender. And we're going to start by importing um, one of the weapons. I'm going to go ahead and start with the pistol. So the original ones will start with SK. This is the way we name these assets. So here it is. This is the original one. We're going to import it without changing any settings. Now, as you can see, we have our older mesh as well as the armature, which is a little hard to see. So what I'm going to do for easier is we're going to go into the armature data tab. We import display. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on names so we can see every bone and their names. All right. Very nice. Now let's go ahead and import our second mesh, the new one. Oh boy, this comes with a lot of stuff, doesn't it? All right, so what I'm gonna begin by doing here is it looks like one of them is moved, one of them isn't, um, is by selecting this one is gonna be the move. And as you can see, our meshes are one mesh. So we don't need these parts to be separated like it is right now. So we can begin by hiding our old mesh as well as the armature by pressing H. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this stuff. I'm just gonna select these extra things like the bullets, not that. These extra, all these extra things, including this little magazine. This has a magazine in it. I'm gonna press delete, just like that. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select this mesh. So well as the magazine and everything like that. And we're gonna Alt P to clear their parents because they're parented some of them. We're gonna do clear and keep transformation. After we've done that, what we wanna do is once again, we're gonna come to and select all of these meshes. I'm just going to parent them to one thing. I've selected the frame, so whatever you select last will be the one. I'm going to go ahead and press Control J to join them together. And boom. Now our weapon is one piece. We can get rid of these extra groups. Besides this one, this is our original model. So our original model is modeled thanks to our modeler to a real life counter um, part. So the dimensions are almost identical. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to move this pistol around a little bit. I'm going to start by rotating it to face the right connection uh, direction like we've done there and it looks like it's a little offset on the x so we're going to reset the, our x location great so now our position needs to be a little similar but let's start with scale let's get our scale relatively the same and we can even use this pistol scale in this case like the length we have here as you can see it's 0.214 so we'll use that and we'll um after we put this in we want to scale the rest of the gun at the same amount. So we're going to copy this scale, which changes that, as you can see. So we put 2.14. We're going to copy and paste these values. And boom. Now the pistol is 
almost the same size. Now I'm just going to position it. The easiest way to position this correctly, in my opinion, is the sights. The rest of the gun might be a little off, but we're going to edit the armature. All right, now that you got your new weapon in and it's about the same location, we're going to come to our old mesh and hide it. Now we have our bones and the new weapon. We want to rig the weapon. Um, our models don't have bullets in them. And in this one, it does. And if you have a lot of materials here, which I'll get into in a little bit. Um, let's begin by getting the, um, the bullets out of the gun. Or actually, let's begin with the armchair, right? So I want to actually change these bones around by going into edit mode. I think a couple things I need to change is the hammer. So let's see where this hammer moves. It'll be around down here. So we're going to move this a little bit. Our safety is a little off. We will select both of these guys by pressing L and just find the middle point. And we'll move our safety by selecting Shift S, selection to cursor. And our slide should be fine. All right, cool. All right, I think our slide at least is okay too. All right, let's get started on rigging this weapon. We're going to go into our data, vertex groups, and here we go. Start by selecting the trigger by pressing L. We'll add a new vertex group. And we're going to have to name this vertex group the same as the bone. As you can see, it's W trigger. Here, we can see the bone name. So sign, I'm gonna go ahead and hide this bone. Start with the slide release. Once again, new group, name it the same as the bone. And assign, hide, it's always the same. We're gonna select our safety, do the same thing. Once again, new group, name it the same as the bone, assign, hide. Our hammer is gonna do the same thing. Also, I'd like to go on fire frame by holding Z just to make sure it's right. W hammer, assign, hide. Then we have our magazine and bullets. We'll get to them in a second. Let's get, let's select our slide, the iron sights. Looks like we're missing a couple of things. So let's get that screw right here. And this ejector. I think that's everything for the slide. Looks about right. Add a new vertex group, W slide. Sign hide. And now we got a easy access to our bullets, which I'm just gonna select them here. I'm gonna go ahead and click face orientation so it's a little easier. And boom, all our bullets are gone. Yeah, get out of here and I'll even bring the follower up a little bit by editing the mesh. We don't have to do this. It's just a little extra. Looks about right. All right, cool. So we're going to select our magazine. So that's the base plate of the magazine. Then we've got the whole mag, right? Yep. We got the whole mag. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing. W magazine, assign and hide. Now we have stuck with the parts that don't move. So we're gonna click W frame. As you can see, this will um, be the root of the gun. Assign, and we are done with the rigging process. So once we're done, we're gonna click the gun. We're gonna do location, control A by the way, and rotation, and scale. This applies all of our transforms. You can also do all transforms like that. All right, cool. So we're gonna select the gun first after we have done control A, all transforms. Let's select our armature with shift click, control P, Armature to form. Now we can test our rig. You can see the trigger moves, the magazine moves, the hammer should move, boom. The safety um, should also move. Ah, look at that. See, that's not right. I thought the origin would be about there, but it's really not. It's gonna be in the middle of that circle. So I'm just gonna unhide everything. And we're gonna roughly move that safety bone around here. You can actually kind of see Right there is where the circle is, right there. Let's select that right to see. Shift S, cursor to select it. And we're just gonna click our safety. Shift S, selection to cursor. And let's have a look now. Would you look at that? Perfect. Follows it almost identically. All right, awesome. And our slide as well, before I forget. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, I think we're set, guys. Now this is ready. What we're gonna do is gonna select the mesh and then the armature. I'm going to click File, Export, FBX, Desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. I would, I usually have these things saved, but here's how we would do it. You're going to first limit them to selected objects. We're going to go down. We're not going to turn on Bake Animation. We're going to turn off Add Leaf Bones. And then Geometry, we're going to turn on Face. And we'll name this SK Pistol 9mm New. And then we're going to export. All right, we'll All right, let's get into Unreal Engine. So let's open it up. And let's get into the process of how I would reimport the weapon. Now, when you get this asset pack, you will realize that, let me go into the root directory here, that the skeletons have animation translation. This is because the way that 
we have set them up is to work with their current skeletons. But if you are going to be using your own custom skeleton and you have edited the armature like we have, there are specific things that we have to do. So let's get started. It's also quite important that you don't change the magazine bone um, if you can, because that might lead to some other issues. The rest, they should be okay, including you in the slide. So let's get into how we work this. We'll come into meshes, weapons, pistols, or the corresponding weapon you're changing. And we'll go into the skeleton itself here. Once we open this up, what we're going to do is we're going to click the settings. I'm going to click this, show retargeting options. And under this, you'll realize there's a bunch of translation retargeting settings. And what we want to do is this will be all on animation. So what you want to do is just match it with this. Or if it's a custom weapon or run the other weapons, basically the important thing is there are parts in this weapon that don't move position wise. Things like the um, trigger or the trigger only animates rotation. Slide release, same thing. Hammer, same thing. Safety, same thing. Magazine, not the same thing. It will be move translation, translation wise. And to correct myself, the slide as well, as it does move. So what you wanna do is you wanna set everything that is moving just by animation to skeleton. That is our safety, like we have mentioned, slide release, trigger, and hammer, if you're replacing the pistol. So once you've done that, you're set up. So make sure you click this, and it'll be on animation, just to make it skeleton. The hammer, the, the safety, the slide release, and the trigger. Awesome, we've done that, we can close this out. Now we can import our new wesh. So just make a new folder here in the same folder we were at in the skeleton, that's under here. So PNM starter pack, meshes, weapons, pistols. I'm gonna call this pistol uh, millimeter new and go into this folder. We're gonna import our new um, mesh. It's this one right here. Just gonna drag that and drop that in here. I'm just gonna click import. While importing, just make sure you select the skeleton. Sorry, I almost forgot. Make sure you hit that and then hit import. All right, awesome. Now we have our weapon. So you can see all these materials are here as well, but I'm not gonna really go into that. Let's continue along. So what we want to do now is we want to replace our data assets mesh with this one. So we'll come into back into our root directory here to the atom starter pack. And you can find the data data assets for each weapon under blueprint, weapons, the corresponding category, which in our case would be the pistols, pistol nine millimeter. And here's the data asset. You could make a new one or use this one we're just going to use the existing one. You can open this up. You can see all of our animation files are set. All of our information and data is set already. So we're going to click our mesh right here under the mesh category under info. And we're going to replace it with the new one. I'm going to go ahead and save. Come into our dev level. And I'm just going to move this to update it. Because the construct script didn't update. I'm going to hit play. And here's our new weapon. We can pick it up. And all the animations should play with the corresponding effects. And our slides do line up as we have scaled the weapon to the corresponding size. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you have no problems. If you do, in our documentation, which you can find in the marketplace, um, the fab marketplace right here. If you do have any issues guys you can scroll on down and you will find my contact information here email or discord please feel free to reach out to me in one of these and i will do my best to help you out thank you so much for watching once again have a wonderful rest of your day